it's Friday the 31st of May and uh, so we are nearing, I am nearing the end of the third week. Um, I've just been doing an hour-long workout which consisted of a warm-up, then following the, the video that I had for uh, this day from the 30-day challenge and then on Fitify I found this arm workout with with dumbbells so i used all my dumbbells today yay all of them so i'm super happy it wasn't a it wasn't a heavy workout it was just you know for for the end something um yeah um now i have just had my typical snack which is usually a piece of fruit with some nuts or almonds or some protein uh, today in particular i had a protein drink uh, with an orange and now I'm gonna teach for an hour and I'm going um, out because I want to visit my grandma and then in the evening there's a concert a metal concert so physical exertion on the way uh, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, what more did I want to say? Yeah, today I was going to be fasting. I wanted to try a 24-hour fast, but I decided against it because, yeah, I am only now beginning to uh, eat regularly and uh, avoiding fast food successfully. Like, you know, it's working. Why change it when it's working? Plus, my body uh, works in a very peculiar way. Um, if I don't have energy, I just don't have energy. That's the end. Like my body cannot work with stored energy. I, I don't know. If I run out of energy, I am completely dead. <laughs> and I can go without food, without any problems for like half a day. And then for the rest of the day and the beginning of the next day, I am just exhausted. So I decided against fasting. fasting. I'm just gonna eat five times a day like I like I normally do um, uh, yeah anything more I want to share with you yeah tomorrow is rest day but I'm going um, uh, playing badminton with my mom so it's gonna be an active rest day which is what I want and then on a Sunday you know there's a way in taking my measurements again and I hope that this time something will be visible there, some change. Yeah, I don't need a big change, but, but just something. That, that would be great. Yeah, but in, in the positive direction, not like last week when I found out I gained two kilograms and two centimeters around my waist. Hell no. <laughs> so we'll see what this week will bring us. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna shut up because I have work to do, man. Bye. So I have ordered a takeaway, but it's not fast food. It's from a restaurant. It's called Shawarma, and I've never eaten that before. So I'm really curious to see what it is. Okay, probably some kind of... Hmm. Okay, I hope I won't be disappointed. fine I'll just relax today clean my room uh, get ready for work um, get into the bathtub you know stuff like that you know Sunday stuff okay and I'll see you on yeah on Monday and I have also forgotten to mention that right after waking up 
I put on my workout clothes. Like, I'm super proud of this. I put on my workout clothes. My husband was still sleeping. Um, and I went to the shop on foot. Um, and then I went back with, with one full backpack and two full shopping bags. They were so much heavier than last time. Like it's, it's crazy. It's paradoxical that, uh, you know, I'm about to eat 100 and no, 1200 calories less than last week. But I actually have more food to buy and it weighs more. So I'm actually going to eat more, but it's, it's going to be less calories. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but it is, it is what, what the healthy eating is about. Yeah, you eat more, but it's more nutrient dense and less calorie dense. This is what we want, folks. This is what we want. And then right after bringing the shopping bags home, I did a 39 minute workout. Like not, not a super heavy workout, but long, <laughs> super long. Um, yeah. And then I had a little bit of salt just to fill my electrolyte because I told you that my body is peculiar and uh, I always run out of magnesium. Um, yeah, so I had all my supplements in the morning and then after the workout I had a little bit of, of salt and a half a liter of black tea. I actually felt like shit after drinking the tea, so maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. Uh, but now, now I'm fine again, so I guess my body has digested it successfully somehow. So yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the electrolytes because I tend to lose them very fast. And if I don't have energy, I just don't have energy. I feel dizzy after half a day of not eating. Uh, so I decided to try to consume salt a little bit after the workout, just to see if it helps me or not. Finally done talking. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Bef just before 11. It's Monday. This is how I look before the workout. <laughs> I've been running. I've been cycling to work and from work. And now I'm ready for my workout. Um, for breakfast, I had oatmeal with a banana and uh, a portion, a half a portion of protein which gives together 400 calories, yeah, a piece of 100% chocolate as well. And for snack, I had strawberries, 276 grams of strawberries, which is a little bit less than 100 calories. So I'm good. Let's work out, because we have to. We have to fall.
uh, Tuesday, which is day two on a 1500 calorie diet. Did I say that I would be completely fine? Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I'm fine. Just a little hungry. Like, the. I don't have any cravings, but the portions I have are unsatisfying for me. I don't know why I said it would be fine. It's not. It's. Uh, I, want, I want a pizza. I want something to, to fill myself with. Just, just become full, you know, this, this heavy belly. I miss this feeling. I think I have a problem. <laughs> like, I'm gonna stick to this diet till Sunday, then see the results. And maybe I'll increase it to 1700. Is that too much? I don't know. It would be great because right now the portions are just. Mm. If at least for lunch I could have something of. Well, that would be that would be 800 calories for lunch, and I think that's already doable for me. But 600 calories for lunch, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's the best idea. Today I will have like a shrimp, shrimp rice mixture, I don't know, shrimp risotto. And I'll see how that fills me up, but yeah, we'll see. We'll <laughs> I'll definitely see, I'll, I'll take a photo of, of the lunch, of course. And now it's time to work out. <laughs> yeah, it's time to work out, baby. <laughs> Thursday. So just finished my Thursday workout and I have a few tips for you. Um, you should do your workout right after you come home. Like right after you come home you change into your active clothes and do the workout no matter how hungry you are or something. If you're hungry like I am today just know that after a couple of minutes of the workout you will not feel hungry anymore the body adjusts to it and and uh, you'll be fine with you know if the eating after the workout don't eat before because then you will you will want uh, less to work out so really really do it as soon as you come home and yeah super hungry I'm gonna make lunch for myself. I don't know how many calories are in there, so I'm just gonna throw it all in. And I don't have time to eat in the evening anyway, so it will be also my dinner. So yeah, 900 calories in total, so I guess. It's a big risotto with poke sauce, um, chicken breast and cheese on top. Yeah, so nothing too unhealthy. Just a big portion, it's gonna be a bigger portion, a little bit. And tomorrow we are celebrating our wedding anniversary. We're going to a creperie. So we're going to have crepes. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, just French pancakes. Um, and maybe I'll have a salad instead, I don't know yet. But uh, tomorrow is also a fasting day from dinner to dinner it's it's gonna be from lunch to dinner so yeah so this lunch is gonna be my last meal and then tomorrow uh tomorrow's dinner is gonna be after the fasting period yay three more videos of workouts remaining in the 30 day challenge and then i'm done with the 30 day challenge i have to make up what to do after that either i join the z gym with my favorite fitness influencer zuska light or i subscribe to fitify and do this uh, this uh, five week plan but i don't know what it entails like there's no sneak peek into it so i i have no idea uh, what's 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 it gonna be like for me but yeah i i can try why not or I'll find another 30 day challenge. I don't know yet. I'll see. Bye.
<laughs> yeah, and I also want to join the gym sometime. I want to do gym workouts more because I usually bring myself to working out more intensely when I'm at the gym than here, you know. So psychology works definitely and uh, I want to also go to the gym. So I have to combine it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna eat now because I'm so fucking hungry. I had oatmeal for breakfast and then I had a Miller Milk Zero chocolate flavor. And that was 600 calories in total. Yeah. Now another 900 and then I'm done with the 1500 a day. Well. Yeah, it's a little food, but it's doable. It's doable. Like, you have to stop complaining that it's not fully satisfying. <laughs> it's uh, satisfying enough. Like, it's enough. Like, you eat your portion, and then you don't feel hungry anymore. Like, what more do you want, right? You don't want to stuff your stomach till it's completely full and you can't even move like who the hell wants that right uh i do <laughs> a little bit <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna do that now i'm really excited why am i still talking i wanna be eating okay <laughs> bye okay this could probably be considered a cheat meal because look how big it is Oh my god, it's so large. <laughs> I don't have dinner and ne the next day it's, it's fasting, but still. <laughs> Look at that size. I'm so excited and so hungry. Okay, guten appetit, boys. Okay, hello, hello. It is Sunday, the 9th of uh, June. Thank you, computer. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, these past three days, like every evening, there was a celebration. And on each day, I tried to go about it a different way. So on Friday, I was on a 24-hour fast, as I said I would do every week. So that's from dinner to dinner. So I didn't eat anything. And then on dinner, for dinner, I basically ate whatever I wanted. I had baked salmon. It doesn't sound so bad, right? But it was baked in so much cheese and uh, spinach too. And then I had a dessert which were, consisted of uh, um, a chocolate fondue. You no, know, this this fatty chocolate pool where you dip fruit in. So uh, yeah, so I had that. And I have to say that, um, yeah, this fasting was a little bit difficult, uh, especially those final hours. Uh, where I remember just uh, sitting on the tram, on uh, we were on our way to, to our wedding anniversary celebration and I just felt so damn hungry, like I couldn't wait to finally get that meal. So I was a little bit of a suffering. On Saturday I tried a different approach, I tried eating normally and trying to limit myself to my usual 300 calorie dinner. Uh, let's just say that it wasn't very successful. I had a French salad. I asked them for no dressing, but of course that salad turned out to be, um, I guess, more calorie dense. Um, my estimation is like 500 calories minimum. Plus they had this, this pizza bread with some garlic oil on top <laughs> and I ate all of that too because I just couldn't stop myself and then I had a piña colada which is which is uh, a little bit less than 200 calories on top of all that so um, yeah let's just say that I wasn't too successful however um, I also had some some exertion like physical activity um, in the morning where I went climbing with a friend of mine and that's always quite strenuous um, Especially here on these muscles, although it, it shouldn't be uh, 
so yeah, so so I also had some some you know calories out, not just in. So I, I guess it wasn't that much of a catastrophe. And uh, today we are celebrating. Oh yeah, uh, yesterday uh, it was because we celebrated our um, like schoolmates get together from high school after ten years. So and today we've got a third celebration, uh, my cousin's birthday. And this time I tried to limit my calorie intake before going there, like not fully starve, but uh, limit it to 500 calories and then leave 1000 calories for the evening. I guess that's the most successful one. So I had two of these like oatmeal packages, like protein oatmeal packages, um, not very delicious since I didn't put any extra chocolate in it or any banana or anything that I usually do put in there. Um, but it was it was enough to fill me up and uh, both of these meals I finished with a cup of hot tea and coffee. Uh, needless to say, without any sugar, without milk, without anything, just, just yeah, just the liquid. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, yeah, together was about 500 calories. So now I'm feeling good, I'm not hungry and I have 1000 calories left. So I'm, I'm super duper pumped. Um, from this 30 day challenge, only one video remains for tomorrow. And then I am probably going to subscribe to uh, Z Gym, which is run by a fitness influencer I've been following since my teenage years, Zuzka Light. Um, at that time she, she was, you know, Zuz, Zuzka from, from Body Rock. She had Body Rock TV, so that's, when I discovered her and uh, now she has like like this platform. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that. So yeah, it's, it's good to have like a plan what to do after, you know, your 30 day challenge. <laughs> you cannot just go back to your old habits. That just won't do. Yeah, uh, what else do I want to say? I don't know. The calorie intake seems to be working because today I weighed myself and I weigh 83.8 kilograms. That means that in my journey, like the, the biggest, the, the highest weight I had was 89 kilograms at one point. And let's suppose it was 87 at the start of this journey. So that would mean losing 3.2 kilograms in in a month and uh, yeah 1.2 kilograms this past week only just by by cutting down the calories and and really restricting them and uh, you know detonating the calorie restriction bomb finally which is paying off yeah my friend uh the friend i climbed with yesterday she was a little bit concerned about how how low this this intake is but yeah it, it is not forever it's just uh until i lose weight and it's doable you can see that i am not tired i am not hungry usually if if i do this right and uh, i am um losing weight too and, and uh, i suppose that's what we want here so definitely definitely happy the only thing that's uh, a little bit concerning uh, this past week and that this is specifically for my body. I tend to lose magnesium very quickly. Like I'm short on magnesium no, no matter what I do. I don't know why. And um, so I have these supplements, this, this bisglycinate supplement and I take this every morning and it's turning out to be, I guess, too little because I feel Sometimes when walking, I feel a little bit of cramping in my um, calf. Yeah. And it's uh, not necessarily painful. It's, it's not painful. It's just downright uncomfortable. You just walk in and, you know, something is just not right in your leg. You're just like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, so that. So I will be watching my magnesium intake. And uh, apart from that, I don't think that there's any deficiencies or anything in my diet. I hope I can get myself 
uh, some blood tests. I'll, I'll probably do some blood tests uh, in a month. Yeah, so after a month of following a 15, 1500 calorie diet, it's, it's good to, to run some blood tests, I think. So I'll do that. And other than that, oh, I'm just super happy, super happy at my weight. I haven't measured myself yet because I'm staying at my mom's and I haven't found uh, the meter that I need. So I need to do that at home. Um, yeah, and it took me like half an hour to finally convince the scales to work and to, to uh, weigh me. Um, yeah, so 83.5, we are doing it. I can't believe it. And I, <laughs> this is strange, this is gonna sound weird, but I, I like putting hands over my body and you know <laughs> because I really feel the change like like on my thighs I feel like they are not so soft anymore so uh, when I put my uh, hands around them <laughs> it just feels so different so sporty so dang it. it it's so cool and also on my stomach when I put them on my stomach I, I can feel the difference like there is a, a pillow of fat still but it's much smaller, uh, usually. Um, I don't know about now, but <laughs> uh, it's uh, yeah. This this is working too. I cannot wait to finally measure, take in the measurements. I hope that there there will be some change as well, because yeah, yeah. We need to lose fat and not muscle, right? So so yeah. Great. I think I'm gonna watch some more videos on YouTube and then get to that celebration. Bro, I am, I'm really happy. Th this is working for me. This is definitely working. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Bye.